Hey guys, how's it going on? My name is Lewis and God bless every single one of you. Today is August 25th, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. If you can, please share the video. And it says here, the Sleeping Giant Bank has closed multiple accounts connected to a Christian outreach ministry. Hmm, this is just the beginning. So once again, guys, the Sleeping Giant, there are good church here that is helping other country to build church and to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not only that, but to feed the poor and to help many and, you know, spread the word, the good news, the gospel. They put a stop to that. And this is just the beginning. This is the first time I'm hearing that a sleeping giant bank is closing accounts. Hmm. Let me just read this part really quick. If you can, please share the video. And uh, this is it. And time when, uh, again, when it comes to the church, uh, the church will be under attack. Did a sleeping giant bank uh, discriminate against a Tennessee ministry over its Christian views? Or was it simply a business matter? Mr. Steve, board member and founder of the, uh, I'm going to skip the name, Advance, a Memphis-based charity that along with others, uh, Customer Center has uh, partnered, partnered with and served uh, many people in Uganda since 2015 to provide basic needs and share the gospel. Mm. This is just the beginning. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I post the videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number two, Holiday, Florida, 34691. This is where we at right now. Shutting down. You know who does this type of stuff? The Red Dragon. North K. Those lands, they put these type of stuff out there. They shut it down. Sleeping Giant, watch and learn. This is why it's very important to hold on to that Bible. People's like, oh, I got the uh, Bible app. Forget about the Bible app. Eventually, this thing will turn off. You need the word, the book, and you need to memorize the verses. That's what they're doing in other countries. They're memorizing, uh, memorizing the verse. They reading, they doing Bible study underground in caves, because if they catch them doing that, they put them behind bars. This one here is just a tip of it. This one is just a tip of the iceberg. Guys, I just post this video. This link will be in the comments box. There's a lot of situ uh, situation going on in the island. Many, uh, many young ones being found and this it's not pretty it's not pretty it's not man 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 please continue to pray for the people out there continue to pray parents are finding their young ones and look guys i have i have four young ones and i know many of you have young ones and we don't want to be in that spot but for these parents to find their young one hugging the EAD dog, I mean, it's just, it's brutal. It is. Now, I don't know if this thing was man, M-A-D-E, or natural cause, but if it was man, you know what? Uh, God will seek his revenge. All right, let's see what's going on in this story here. 
and this here will be my final uh, video for tonight. So it says, despite holding deposit and credit card account with the Sleeping Giant Bank, since its inception, uh, Advance received a series of letters in April in which the bank announced it was closing the group's account within 30 days. Now, uh, again, it's very important, guys, because this money, money had to be wire transferred to other lands. Uganda, you know, the, I mean, there's many missionaries out there that uh, is helping Ugandan uh, people uh, building houses and church and even farm uh, with uh, good water. And all that is money and money needs to be transferred from uh, from the sleeping giant to Uganda. But the sleeping giant bank is putting a stop to that. Very concerning. According to the nonprofit legal group Alliance Defending Freedom, the only explanation provided in the letters was that upon review of the accounts, we have determined you're operating in a business type. We have chosen not to serve at the sleeping giant bank. Wow. Basically saying, hey, we don't do those type of business, you know, yeah, you know, that's your Lord and but we're not down with that. You're not going to be using us. Uh, so so uh, you could preach your gospel to uh, other lands. We're not going to be doing that, man. Wake up, sleeping giant, wake up. So the group's deposit account had over uh, $270,000, according to ADF, a partner entity, uh, Blank Advance Customer Center, and a church operating at the group's address, Servants of Christ Community, DBA, University House of Prayer, received similar letters closing their accounts. Wow. Yeah, mo uh, multiple church is gonna get impacted now. So you have this person uh, said, after experiencing shock and confusion, no, 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 it shouldn't be a shock. It shouldn't be a confusion because the Bible said it, Jesus said that this will come. It will happen. Now, if it does happen, it's because God allowed it to happen. This is Bible prophecy. Missionaries has done an incredible job doing the work of God. There's many people out there that are learning and the word is being spread. Yes, we want to con uh, continue doing this. But if this is happening, uh, it's because, again, God is allowing that, uh, you know, all this events goes on. God is in control. God knows what's going on. God knows that, uh, you know, what's the next move. And um, but it's very important to pray for each other because the church, believe it or not, the church is seeing something big. The church is, again, some of these wicked church abomination are rising. You have false teachers, false prophets. You have uh, banks are being impacted by, I mean, excuse me, church are being impacted by banks. It's happening. What's going on? What is going on here in the sleeping giant? What's happening? Because back in the 90s, the sleeping giant, one nation under God. I don't know. Again, uh, I don't see that now. All right, so it says here, I asked them, what type of business do you think we are? And they wouldn't answer me. He told the Christian Post via phone Wednesday. They said, I'm sorry, we cannot give you that information. Oh, man. So far from being uh, simply an inconvenience, Hap said the Sleeping Giant Bank action significantly disrupted the group's outreach and impact. When they closed the account, it meant that people who are dependent on us couldn't eat. Listening? Those in other lands 
are relying on the sleeping giant, the church. At the same time, these are exciting times of Bible prophecy. All this lines up to the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I believe tribulation is around the corner. I believe big things are coming. I believe that the son of perdition, the Antichrist, will come to power. I believe that there will be the mark. Again, all this money stuff is going to be brand new. And I do believe that Jesus will come with great power and glory. He's going to shake the world. So when they close, okay, give me a second here. Uh, when they close the accounts, it meant that people who are dependent on us are going to eat, he said. To us, it's not that big of a deal if your paycheck is delayed for a day or two. But for Ugandans, they live day by day. Oh, excuse me, they live day to day, trying to find where they're going to find their next meal. I don't know if you guys remember one of our friends, Crystal King. She came here multiple times and she comes for Uganda. And uh, we opened up like uh, a GoFundMe for her. So, uh, you know, she could go back to Uganda with funds. And, uh, you know, they opened up a church and she helped the, uh, the Ugandans people. They build a farm. And uh, with your funds, uh, it helped many, many Ugandans. Uh, they got tomatoes, uh, vegetable, and food. And uh, you guys uh, remember Crystal King. So it's been a while. Uh, she hasn't, well, I haven't seen her in a while, but uh, hopefully she's doing good. But uh, yeah, she's out there in Uganda. There's a possibility this might be impacting her. So please continue to pray. Uh, praying for Crystal King and many missionaries out there in Uganda. But this is not only in Uganda, this will happen worldwide. Hap said, due to bank's action, you had advance couldn't pay its employees or provide their ministry partners with donation until Hap returned to the state to sort out the issues. In a statement shared with CP, a spokesperson for Sleeping Giant Bank said, religious beliefs are not a factor in any account closing decision, but Rather, it was debt collection services provided by the Blank Advances Customer Center that led to the account closures. And like I say, guys, eventually one day, it will happen. It will happen. Because let's say the mark of the B word, you know, what comes out. Even a church will have to take the mark in order for them to send money to other lands. And that will be a big test for every church, for every Christianity, for many, many people out there that believe in Christ. That will be a big test for all of us. And again, guys, stay focused. Things will come. It ain't going to be beautiful. There will be persecution, but those who uh, love Christ will do it to the very end, just like the apostles, just like Peter, crucify upside down, just like John the Baptist, beheaded, just like Luke, uh, he was uh, hung, just like uh, the apostle Paul, he gave his neck to the sword. Just like James, James, he got busted with a, uh, a club in the head and everything came out. Many, many, many disciples have seen brutal death, brutal death. And they did it in the name of Jesus Christ. They gave their life to Christ and said, man, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to see my savior. So there will come a time that it's even going to happen to us uh, Christ believers. And you got to stay strong. You can't be weak. So it's very important to prepare yourself spiritually, physically, and mentally. Like I said, this is just the beginning of what's to come.
anyway guys thank you so much for watching once again for those of you that want to give your life to christ you can email me my email is in the description box me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path and that's the path of our lord and savior jesus christ for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me Luis santiago or my wife jessica santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday holiday florida 34691 once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give your light to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough times. Till next time later. Peace.